Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Random Review Series, DBougie86 here again. Now the film I got for you guys today is a brand new film from the year 2016. And this one was put out by Arsploitation Films, of course. Arsploitation put out a lot of interesting and cool looking titles uh, from all over the world. But ironically, this one is actually one from the USA. See right there? Yes. And it goes by the title of Counterclockwise, yes. This film is directed by George Mazze, and this is actually his uh, feature-length directorial debut. Now, this one's more in like the sci-fi like uh, thriller vein, but it also mixes in a little bit of dark comedy. Uh, we're introduced to our main character of Ethan, who is this scientist who is kind of like a trying to uh, work on like this weird like teleportation uh, device that he's working on for like teleporting from one end to the other. Sort of in the vein of like uh, David Cronenberg's The Fly or The Fly Story in a way with uh, teleportation. And one day he actually tests this on uh, his dog Charlie who's actually on the front cover there. Really cute looking dog. And, and Charlie ends up not coming back right away, but then unbeknownst, Charlie ends up do coming back like later on during the day. So Ethan decides to teleport himself, and unbeknownst to him, he actually doesn't know this yet. Uh, the teleportation device actually ends up becoming a time machine, and he ends up teleporting himself six months into the future. Now, when he gets there, he's kind of like, where is he type deal and what is going on? He ends up being chased by numerous people. And we find out that actually his wife and his sister were murdered and Ethan is the prime suspect and he disappeared right after the murder happened. Now, it's up to him to try to figure out how this happened so he ends up going back in time to the time period and trying to figure out the mystery and before it's too late and try to save his wife and sister. Now that is pretty much the main plot of this film. Now my thoughts on it, uh, really cool film. First up, I'm actually a really big fan of like uh, time travel films in general and this one is up there with like some of the best in my opinion like uh time crimes is a very uh similar type of film like this uh which i also enjoy i actually highly enjoy time crimes from uh i believe that's a argentinian film don't hold me to that but uh this one has a lot of like interesting tropes and things going on with like dark humor uh ethan's performance by the actually the co-writer of this film also michael Coppola is really brilliant the way his like facial expressions are and the way he interacts with like certain characters as he meets them it is some like truly brilliant acting i have to give props where props are due uh the performance of ethan is tremendous and the script is very smart and funny too the way uh the dialogue is delivered through the people now there's a lot of like thrilling parts and a lot of like interesting like things when you dwell into the story uh, with the mystery of its characters and uh, the editing technique is a big plus in this type of film. The way certain scenes are edited together and the way the characters intertwine with each other is one brilliant thing. And the film has some beautiful like cinematography. Uh, I did watch one of the commentaries and there's a lot of like tropes to like throwbacks to like other films that uh, I didn't know about until after I watched the commentary and I rewatched the film again and it was like a brilliant little thing that they did like the, there's a little shout out to Blue Velvet in this film that is very stunning and I should have picked up on that one because it's a very key like uh, scene and very good like shout out to that film uh, really fucking interesting like plot I love how this film intertwines with its airy like musical score that happens throughout it and this, the whole story intertwining and coming to the end is very interesting and dark, I have to say. I like how this film ends. It ends on like this weird like thing of a, a mystery of its own of what's gonna happen next type deal. And I like those kind of endings to like these type of films and 
it's a very intertwining and beautifully shot film with a tremendous job with its actors and story. I highly enjoyed this film. It's very interesting. And if you're a fan of like sci-fi thrillers, this is one that you have to check out, especially on the indie level, because you could tell this is a low budget film with a lot of like low budget filmmaking techniques that work for the, like this type of story. And I love how the story intertwines with it. So if I had to rate counterclockwise, I'm giving it a solid nine out of 10. It's one of my favorite watches of the year so far. And I'm actually dwelling to dig into more of the special features of this release that our exploitation put out for this film. Uh, we get a making of counterclockwise featurette, which is like 27 minutes long. We're like interviews and behind the scenes and stuff like that. And we also have five deleted scenes with commentary, which I actually haven't checked those out yet. Um, very curious to see what the lead scenes are for this film. And plus we have three commentary tracks, uh, all featuring the director, like uh, one solo one with him just talking about like special tropes. It's actually the one that I watched. Uh, and then we have another one with a director and editor and we also have one with uh, the co-writer, too, with uh, Michael Kovale. And that's a very interesting... I actually started watching that one. I had to finish that commentary. Very interesting uh, stuff that they go into, like the way they process and thought of the idea of this film and the way that this film brought up. up. So, yeah, I highly recommend this film, guys, if you're a fan of like thrillers in general and science fiction and time travel stories. This is up there as one of the best that I've seen. So, yeah, 9 out of 10 for Counterclockwise. It's a highly recommendable release from our exploitation films. Let's check it out. All right, guys, that's it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back soon with another one. Sorry, of course, for like the long like breaks in between videos. It's just uh, hectic with this time of year, uh, you know, retailing and work and the holidays and all that good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the review, and I'll see you soon, guys. Peace out.